Hi everyone on YouTube and all the NFL YouTube prognosticators and football fans everywhere. This is Andrew Warren, back here once again, giving you my thoughts about Super Bowl 56. Check it out. First off, let me say congratulations to um, Sean McVay, Matthew Stafford, and Cooper Cup for winning the um, Super Bowl for the LA Rams. Uh, winning it for the second year in a row, a home team has won the Super Bowl. Following the Bucks last year, and now the LA Rams. And to say the least, though, that Cooper Cup, for him, congratulations to him getting the Super Bowl MVP. And that was a heck of a drive, you know. That was a heck of a game for the Rams to bounce back and win it. It looked like for a minute that Cincinnati was going to win that Super Bowl, but it turned out to be um, the Rams to winning it. But we'll get to Cincinnati in a minute. But what I thought about the game for the Rams, um, they just... Just fought back. They just really continued to fight. Really, they needed to do, and they did what they needed to did. They end up pounding the football, never give up. They found a way to stop the run. They found a way to do it without um, Odell Beckham Jr., who a actually got hurt, which that almost lo cost the Rams the game. So, and, and in the end, you know, Matthew Stafford getting a Super Bowl ring. That was a really, really, really thing that every that. Uh, Matthew Stafford needed going on a team all those years, and he finally gets a Super Bowl ring with the LA Rams. So congratulations to him, congratulations to Sean McVay, especially him who went to the Super Bowl with um, Jared Goff, ended up losing with my um, Patriots three years ago. So that was a big um, up on that. But so until then, congratulations to the LA Rams for winning the Super Bowl and uh, ready to defend their title next year. But let me flip on the other side. On there for the Cincinnati Bengals on that one. That was a long, painful, painful flashback from what happened in that Super Bowl. I'll say why. Because what happened in that Super Bowl with the Rams in, especially in that final drive with Cooper Cup, that brought back a lot of painful, painful memories for the Cincinnati Bengals from their last Super Bowl. You know, with Joe Montana and the 49ers. Hit that last minute game winning drive. That might have bought Mike Brown some painful, painful, painful memories for the Cincinnati Bengals on that point. But don't get me wrong, the Cincinnati Bengals, they looked like they were going to win the Super Bowl, and I thought they had a shot at winning it. This close. This close. But it just couldn't snatch it off, you know? But, you know, all I can tell you is with Cincinnati Bengals case, the their snake bite continues. And so that's pretty much to say on the least on that. But, uh, for, for the Cincinnati Bengals, you know, they will definitely be back. They look like they're going to be a Super Bowl contender for many years to come. So there, there is a lot, a lot of things about the Cincinnati team that's going to be really dominant. You know, Joe Mixon, Joe Burrow, and you know, Jamar Chase, they're definitely going to be a dominant offense. And I think definitely next year they're going to look for protection for around. Joe Burrow and maybe get back into the Super Bowl. And maybe next year probably end up winning it next year. So and if uh, and if they get a like a guard to draft, they're, they're definitely gonna do something about it. But for a minute, both quarterbacks look like they're gonna be knocked out. Yeah, it looked like they were. Excuse me. And Joe Burrow was favoring that knee. Well, it wasn't his left knee, it was his right knee actually, so and that was like, uh oh, this looks like the beginning of the end of the Cincinnati Bengals, and turned out to be right. So that that Rams defense looked like they dominated that defense right until the end at the end of the fourth quarter. And it looked like for, it looks like Cincinnati's game for a while after the after the halftime show on um, kickoff in the third quarter, and end up scoring like right away and get two picks after that. It looked like it was going to be Cincinnati's game. I'm like, oh, it looks like Cincinnati's going to win it, but. It, and that turned out not to be the case, you know. Things were, things went right wrong for Cincinnati, went wrong. And things that went wrong for um, the LA Rams turned out to be right for them. So it turned out to be, well, the Rams did, did it. Though. And I'll say this, it wasn't Joe Burrow's fault that they lost the Super Bowl. It wasn't anyone's fault. The defense just had didn't have any, anything to drop, didn't, anything left, you know. Defense went down a little bit. You know, it was really in there. I'll say this. If they had an extra running help on that one, they probably would have won that Super Bowl. 
But take it as as it is. You know, Joe Burrow, I think, and Zach, and Zach Taylor, they're all going to look at that film and they're going to say, we got to be better than they were in that Super Bowl. And they're going to turn that Super Bowl into a, into a championship soon. So I think that's going to be the case for them. What they're really going to need to do is build for some protection around Joe Burrow. They need some. I think the guy around in the draft. I think maybe this coming spring they will be in a will get a protection or a guard just to protect um, Joe Burrow. So I think that's going to be a case for the Bengals. And definitely, no doubt about it. I think definitely, you will, I would not be surprised next year if Cincinnati comes back in the Super Bowl and wins it. So and this won't be a shocker on that one. But until this was a good Super Bowl, it was a really a close Super Bowl, you know. It came down to the very end, and that's how it did. You know, it looked like um, for a minute, it it looked like for a minute, it looked like Cincinnati was gonna pull it off. But you know, St. the St. Louis, the Rams defense, the LA Rams defense, they end up pulling it out as they kept doing it all year around for the Rams. They kept up pulling it out, and and the Rams did it, pulled it out. But it's good to, like I said, it's it's good to see Matthew Stafford win a Super Bowl after all these years for the Lions. You know, being on a miserable team after a miserable team for the Lions, and end up going to the Rams. Excuse me, going to the Rams and end up winning the Super Bowl with them, which with Sean McMay, McMay. and and for Sean McVay's case, going back three years ago after three years ago, and end up winning the Super Bowl. So this is pretty much good for his case. So for the LA Rams, you know, good for Sam Donald, good for Von Miller, too, all the defensive guys, too. Von Miller winning his second ring from the LA Rams, which, ironically, now, I think, if, if I'm not mistaken, Von Miller was a fir- is a second player. Well, well, the first player on defense to win a Super Bowl on two different conferences, too, like Tom Brady did in the on the offensive side of the ball. Yeah, and there's Bella. Hey, Bella. I guess she wants to say hello. Yeah, she was watching it with me last night, so we had we had a little fun. So you know, that being said, I think it wanted to say it was a great year in the NFL. Hope you had a good season with me. Hope you enjoyed my picks along the way. And until then, I'll see you on spring and March Madness, and maybe come back soon for the Super Bowl. The NFL come season comes around again. Till then. This is Andrew Warren, signing off, and rock out. And I forgot to tell you guys, I'm sorry. A big shout out to everyone in the NFL YouTube prognosticator community who's been supporting me for all those years, too, and everything else like that. And it, and until then, I just want to let you know, a lot of changes could be coming up this coming season. So, I don't know, maybe I could just do the over and unders just with the primetime games. I was thinking about debating if I was going to just do the... Um, Against the spread and straight up for the um, regular Sunday games, but it, but like special games like primetime games, you know, or um, Thanksgiving Day games, or maybe a Christmas game or something like that, and even the playoffs. I'm gonna be doing all the over and unders, but I'm not gonna do all the over and unders um, next year. So I'm, I mean, that was a debate I was thinking about doing too, and everything else like that. So a lot of good new things are gonna come on on the way. I was debating on, so I was just really thinking about it, you know. I was like, to, like doing stuff like that, and it could be a lot of changes in my life going on too with school and everything else like that too. So, so there'll be a lot of changes going to be happening coming up. So, well, if it's going to be the same, I don't know, but there's going to be a lot of things I'm going through right now with all work, with work and school and stuff like that. A lot of things are changing for me. So, I thought I'd tell you all what's happening right now in my life right now and everything else. You know, hey. What can you do? But anyways, I uh, wanted to shout out to everyone in the NFL YouTube prognosticator community. And until then, this is Andrew Warren signing off. And may, let's hope we can do a March Madness uh, uh, gathering soon. And rock out. And happy Valentine's Day, folks. Everybody, I need to tell you all, I'll be back 
next football season, and I'll get you all next.